Please tune in. people it's confabulation that's with patrick singh and i'm back with another exciting video just for you and in today's video i'll be talking about the origin and the meaning of the famous nyanji phrase kuwaya spelled as w-i-r-e but which should be spelled as w-a-y-a kuwaya it just makes sense to be spelled like that it's not kuwaya we don't say kuwaya we say kuwaya so it should just be spelled as w-a-y-a so before I get into this video, do make sure to click that subscribe button, turn on the bell notification that you might be notified every time I upload a video. And don't forget to comment down below in my comment box and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And so let's get straight into this video. And just like I said earlier on today, I'll be talking about the origin and the meaning of the famous Nyanja phrase, Kuwaya. And for those who are wondering why I'm wearing uh, scanners or sunglasses, uh, I'm shooting this video. In the evening and it was kind of dark so i decided to wear these glasses and the light from the camera is going directly into my eyes and i can't see well so me and light uh -uh, no even if god said let there be light i cannot tolerate light in my eyes i'm not tolerant to light so let's start with the origin where did this word come from so for some of you might be thinking some of you who are newbies to this word might be thinking well oh, or might be wondering or some of you might think that slap d is actually the originator of this nyanja phrase first of all we must understand that kuwaya is not an xa term or an xa slang no it's a nyanja slang okay so let's come let's let's start with the origin so this word originated okay okay you must you must understand it didn't have a meaning but it originated from bus drivers bus drivers are the originators of this word so those who are much you know familiar with bus drivers and those who are bus drivers and conductors know the word kuwaya okay so if you're a bus driver in lusaka okay if you happen to be a bus driver in lusaka you know that if you get arrested by a police officer from central police station if your bus gets impounded okay it goes kuwaya it's simply a wire fence where cars which are impounded by the central police station are parked okay so these might be maybe vehicles or cars you know that were used to carry out a, a, a criminal activity or if uh, the owner of the car you know uh, maybe breached the law in a traffic law uh, as it were so if that happens or if that happened at any point your car goes kuwaya so bus drivers every time when they're having this conversation you know for example uh, let's say uh, ben's car was impounded by the central police station and um he is explaining to his friend like oh boy you know so it didn't have a meaning the me okay I, I can't say it didn't have a meaning but in my understanding the meaning was kuwaya my car got impounded that's kuwaya and that's what it meant kuwaya which is a wire fence where cars are just simply being parked there impounded cars by the central police simply because the owners uh breached the traffic law that's what it basically means okay so it doesn't it never really had this you know popular or this pop culture meaning and term that has been given to it by slap d you should know that it's not the first time slap d is giving a word a meaning or he's given he's making a word popular among the populace okay so other terms that slap d has made uh, popular are uh, words like coco lapo Kuichaila, Wow for a Paiwan, and many more. He's a trendsetter and he has set a, a lot of trends. It's not the first time he's very much cognizant with trends and setting up trends. So, let me now give you uh, the meaning of this word. So, in Slapdi's context of Kuwaya, it means rejection or a place of rejection. So, instead of using words like Mamutenula or in the context of slap this song why one point it it simply means rejection but other people well might wanted to what what 
it means rejection. So for example, instead of saying, ah, I said no to him or ah no, you can just say okay. Ah, what 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 did you say to him? Instead of saying I blacklisted this person, it's a nyanja phrase which can be used in English, which is that cool. If you've been friend zoned, you can it, it, it also means but I'm you know, it can mean anything. It means you've been friend zoned, you've been rejected, in my understanding. See, this is what I've been seeing people doing. So instead of saying he was friend zoned or she was friend zoned or Ninamkano, Nakakana, you just simply say Namfaka Kuaya, okay? Or Namponyera Kuaya. So Kaya Kuaya Kulibuanji. And people have come up with a lot of memes such as, ah, just put your ex Kuaya, Bopeza, Wimsama Tropico. So guys, do comment down below my comment box and tell me what you think about this video and just tell me if you want me to do more of such videos and i will do what you say i will do all that request and stuff like that well i'll check you out next time when i upload another video i'm out of here peace out